Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Fall Zone, guys. I am glad you're here. I am even happier that I am here. I've been away for 10 or 11 days, haven't painted in about 12, and I've been missing it. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. Went to visit my girls, Taylor and Aubrey Grace up in Virginia, give some mama love, and it was a great, great visit. But I miss my home, I miss my painting, I miss my man, I miss my Lido, who's at my feet right now, licking my ankles, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I wanted to start off a little bit different before we get painting. Um, I came back to a lovely, lovely little gift. I opened it up a few minutes ago from Sweet Doris from DNF Designs. We're just going to read you a little bit of this. It says, Dear Kathleen, I have always loved your art and how you teach everyone exactly what you do. Thank you, Doris. That is 100% my pleasure. This is a little gift to you two of the same exact cups that Fiona uses. I got mine from China. I hope that you will love using them. Yada, yada, yada. She went on to say that she has also sent them to Sarah Mack, Heather Mater, Mina, Lee and Jeremy, my boyfriends, and a few other people. Doris, you are a dear, you are a sweetie pie. I happened to catch Heather's live the other day where she actually used these. So these are Fiona cups from Sweet Doris of DNF Designs. Doris, love you, girl. Thank you so much. I promise to um, make you proud when I give these a try. So that is awesome always exciting and just makes my heart sing from all you wonderful peeps and all the wonderful wonderful gifts that I have received from you all. I want to talk about a couple quick things before we get started. One of the main questions people ask me all the time is Kathleen what do you paint on? Well I've got a big long table here and this is a washing machine tray. It's the tray that you get at the Lowe's or Home Depot's or hardware store that you put underneath your washing machine in case it ever overflows. I actually have three of them going down here so I can just kind of move my camera as I go. Um, I also have two extra ones that I can, if I don't want to move my painting and it's nice and level, I put it on small little shot glasses, put the painting down on it, and top it with another one of these. It keeps the bugs, the critters, the dust, and all that kind of good stuff. Now, what I support my canvas on are these sticks right here, and these are just trim pieces, a long eight-foot trim piece that I buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. I bring them home, Rick measures them, so I have enough of an overhang over the edge of this washing machine tray, and then he cuts them to size. Everybody thinks it's something special, but what you see on there is just all my paint drippings, and eventually I have to just discard them because they get all gunky. But um, I wanted to address those questions. I figured it's better to show you um, and to tell you about it. I also came home to some dried pieces of art that I wanted to share with you. I love this painting, guys. I absolutely love this painting. This was the beautiful um, raised canvas that I got. I will put the link once again to the talented artist that makes these. Let me show you the back. It actually has some type of a support back there, but these are a pretty heavy duty frame. This was a 24 by 24. And this canvas has really good, I don't know how to describe it, just good teeth to it, that I have a little bit of a drag on the swipe. And I did prime the canvas before, but I don't know if you can see that it's concaved or whatever the heck that word is. But I am so excited about this. I can't wait to hang it on the wall 
so that it just kind of jumps and dances out at you. So very pleased to go home to this. No dust, no critters, no buggies, no nothing. I don't know if I've shared this one with you before, but I did this painting a few weeks back. I'm getting ready to embellish it a little bit. It was just a minimal swipe on a silver background. The only other color I used was black. I did a split canvas, silver on the top, black on the bottom. And then I did a few swipes this way and a few swipes that way. So guys, let me tell you, minimal can really jump out at you, can really do um, some very, very cool things. Now, I'm going to go in and enhance this section right here that I'm not super happy with, and I'll use my paint pens. But I was pleased with this guy. Now this painting made a lot of people happy and it was just a test canvas and uh, for a big piece that I'm doing a three by four foot canvas which Rick is uh, in the next room making a beautiful frame for a painting that I haven't even painted yet. But once again, a minimal swipe, split uh, base coat. This was the Rust-Oleum Pearl the Artist Loft Black, and then I ended up swiping um, with some black and some more of the Iridescent Pearl. And you can't quite see it, but there's a little hue of burnt ember, umber in here, which kind of sunk a little bit, but it's, uh, it's okay with me. I was really pleased with the way this guy turned out. So it was kind of fun to leave while everything's drying and you don't have to worry and visit it 10 times a day and come back and everything did really well. So guys, I'm gonna get some paints ready and pull out a nice canvas and we're gonna do some painting today. So I'll be right back at you shortly. Hi guys, I'm back. Let's talk about what we're doing today. We are working on a 12 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas. Guys, 70% off at Michael's. I headed down there in my truck and I loaded up. <laughs> That's what I do twice a year because I think they have it twice a year. Maybe they have it more often. I loaded up. People were staring at me pulling my carts. <laughs> it was fun, but it makes me feel good to get these guys at a really, really good price. What are we doing? We are doing a multiple ring pour and maybe some swipe and a combination of a couple of things. What I did was I've been looking for some new pillows for our sofa. And I wanted some earthy, earthy tones, and I found this beautiful pillow. But the reason I loved it so much was because of the colors that were in it. I'll post a picture of the pillow. So that pillow inspired me. People ask me all the time, what inspires you, Kathleen? When you come downstairs, do you have a plan? Well, about 80% of the time I have a plan. But the other 20%, I stare at my colors. I pick one color, and then I build off of that. So... It depends if I'm feeling whimsical, if I'm feeling neutral, it just depends. But yes, things inspire me. Other people's art inspires me. Pillows inspire me. Nature inspires me. So that's kind of where I get my ideas. So we got some special things here today. Our base coat is going to be a combination of a few different colors. That yummy color right there I got with my 40% off coupon when I got my canvases. That's DecoArt Matte Metallics and that is the Aged Bronze. All the paints will be listed guys in the description box. What's the description box? It's a little arrow. I think it's over here or it's over here. You push on that area arrow, a drop down screen comes down and it lists the paints, the music I'm listening to, and all kinds of good things. What else is our base coat? We are using Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in the black. That's what's in this container right here. 
What else are we using? Rust-Oleum Metallics, and that is the Metallic Gold Mine. Love these paints. Love them. And they're a good price because they go a long way. And that's what's in this yummy cup right here. So we're going to have kind of split colors going on. And we're um, going this way with it. <laughs> so we'll put a little black maybe in the middle, a little bit of gold over here, and a little bit of the bronze over there. Now, what else are we using? The colors in the pillow. In this yummy cup right here, we have Treasure Gold Aquamarine. And what I did is I put this in my cup, added my pouring medium to it, about one part paint, three parts pouring medium, mixed it up, and then added a drop of a, a drop at a time of the golden turquoise until I got it to the hue that I wanted, which is right here. Isn't that pretty? Nice little shimmer going on with that. And then this color right here is my golden acrylics, and that's my iridescent copper. So we've got some fun things going on. What else? Oh, right here. In these little bottles right here is a thin little applicator and all of my colors with the exception of the brown are in here the turquoise the gold the black and excuse me the black the turquoise the copper and the metallic gold mine from rust-oleum they're all in here now I get these from Amazon go to Amazon and just google paint applicators and it comes with like six or seven of them in these bottles. But what's nice about it, it comes with all these little tips that allow your paint to come out in different flow. A high flow, a medium flow, different thicknesses. So these come in very handy. Now what I do, guys, because it does not have like the deco art applicator, a self-cleaner. So I keep a little bit of wire from the wire that I use to put the hanging hardware on the back of my art. I keep a couple pieces of wire and every time I'm done using it, I stick my wire in there to clean it up and then I pop a, um, a tack on the top of it to keep it clean. And then every now and again, I give them a good washing out. What else? Oh, we have a special thing here. My sweet friend, Jilly Coob. My Aussie girlfriend from Queensland, Australia sent me this because I'm like, what the heck is that product you're using? It's called Boom Buster right there. And I think she gets it from Shabby Chic or Shabby Chico or something. Um, but Gilly Coop sent this to me. Uh, Jilly. I always call her Gilly. She's my Jilly Gilly girl. <laughs> and she said that this doesn't have oil in it. You know, I'm afraid of silicone. I try to get my cells without using it. Nothing wrong if you use it. I just don't like the cleanup. She said this is different. So I figured I'd give it a go. So I have a little bit of my Artist Loft Black with two little drops of this in here, and you're gonna see me dip my damp paper towel in here and swipe it across certain areas of this painting. So, thank you, Jilly. Gilly, Jilly girl, <laughs> thank you very, very much. So I think that's it. I'm gonna put some tunes on because I wanna get into the zone. I'm happy to be here, guys. Put some music on for you. Let's get busy painting. Girlfriend, you got me smiling brighter each day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Your lips are sweeter. Now listen. Stay in this, figure out where to go. And how about family, new history? Here I go. Dreaming you got me going wilder than wild. Girlfriend, there's nothing that can stop us. 
I'm standing with you, got it all in my head. But I don't know how to breathe. I'm walking outside, taking in all the air. But I don't know how to breathe. I'm fading away under the lights. But I figured it out, this is our course of you. Voices inside my head used to be my only friend, but they go silent when you're around. I hope you'll stay till the end. But I keep walking right into your arms, and we keep falling. I'm standing with you, girl.